Um, welcome to another One Six Galaxies video. We are approaching um that time of the month again, where we're creeping up on the placeholder date that Icon have chosen for this month. Um, so I thought I'd just quickly run through that. Again, these may update um sooner than the thirtieth. They may not update at all. Um, or they could update um just briefly after. But anyway, I'm just going to go over the items um that. Icon have listed for coming in for the 30th of September. Um, a few of these I didn't ha quite have the popularity uh, that a lot of those figures that took really long to come out, um, they didn't have that popularity. So they could be quite viable um, because we did see something, um, we, we have seen figures get a really quick release, like Taskmaster got a really quick Australian release um, versus something like the Armourer. Um, which had a really long release um, and so forth uh, due to that, that popularity and that production, of course, Ahsoka. Um, so we have the animated Miles. Um, again, all of these are in stock with Sideshow, so they are extremely plausible as they have been in stock with Sideshow for some time. Uh, we do have Gideon. Um, now this is interesting because, again, he's one of those ones that's fast, uh, that if he does come out on the 30th, he will be quite a fast release for Australia. Um, but could be plausible, because again, he's not 100% um, popular uh, like Django, etc. Um, Ahsoka has finally updated to the 30th of September. Um, so again, that might be interesting to see her. Her production time has been ludicrous. So hopefully we finally uh, get her for Australian retail. Um, the Boba Fett 2-pack, again, is extremely plausible, uh, given the fact that the standard is out, and I did say that there was a two-week gap between the Deluxe Wonder Woman and the Deluxe, um, I mean, and the standard Wonder Woman, so, um, I mean, uh, four-week gap isn't terrible, um, so yeah, we, we may see him, hopefully. Um, these guys are weren't really popular and I think that's because um, people already had the Mando version um, and so they're like, oh, why do overseas, the overseas collectors went, oh, why do we want another one? It's the same figure. Um, of course, these are the more iconic Return of the Jedi version. So again, it's very plausible um, that we get them here. Um, Jefferson in the group does actually have one of these, uh, which he's going to post sometime shortly uh, if you're after one. Of course, the standard one. Um, again, hoping we get these two on the same day. We might not, but we will see. Uh, Vision, um, also very plausible, um, given the fact that it's very similar to the original release. Uh, and then, of course, the 40th anniversary Luke. Now, we will see, because again, he's got the battery arm, so I am very doubtful that they are going to let this in. Um, we shall see. One LED lighted blue lightsaber, battery light operated. Um, so again, we'll see if they've fixed that, uh, or whether he will suffer the same fate as the Anakin Skywalker and the Darth Maul. Uh, Darth Maul, they outright cancelled. Anakin Skywalker, they are yet to actually give a reason on. Now, um, if you saw the post from a few, um, weeks ago now, you will notice that, um, out of spite, I suppose, Pop Culture sent me an email um, saying that this is actually going to be honoured uh, and is actually going to be uh, shipped out um, all across Australia. Given the fact that he's got the most batteries out of everything, um, yes, those batteries are extremely well covered, which is probably the reason for him being uh, exempt from being cancelled, I suppose. Um, but yeah, Pop Culture's price is just ludicrous. Um, I paid nowhere near that. Uh, for mine, and I've had it uh, for months upon months upon. No, I'm kidding. Um, I've only had it for about a month. Um, but yes, uh, both this version and the Mark 50 version, uh, I got much cheaper than what Pop Culture uh, wanted. Um, okay, so the other figures uh, that we've got, um, understandable because they're quite recent. Very understandable. Whoops. Uh, and of course, um, this one's a wild card, but I don't think Sideshow have him yet, so that's fine. 
um, and of course this one here I would assume would probably definitely be in the next batch of releases. Um, they did say that the Iron Man's due in October, so whether or not he updates at some point over the next couple of weeks, um, we'll see when he updates. I imagine that that'll definitely be the next um, batch date. Uh, but at the moment, as I said, um, I'm not in a hurry to pay anything off just yet because I just want to wait and see if any of these actually do come into stock, um, especially these guys because they are going to be the most expensive as I've ordered one of each. But um, I've got next to nothing to pay off on the Boba Fett. Um, so yeah, 30 flips on the guys. Thank you for watching.